I can't see through my hair. Also, because my camera is not at eye level, I keep like bending down to talk to it, even though it can see me. So I apologize if I look ridiculous during this entire video. Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace. I am an author of a dystopian trilogy and a retelling of the Robin Hood legend. I love historical fiction, which is what I have done the most of, but now I am diving into mysteries and crime fiction, which should be fun. Today, um, I'm going to be talking about five reasons people should be doing the NaNoWriMo this year, or any year, really. Before I give you reasons why you should do it, I'm going to explain briefly what it is, because why would you want to do something when you have no idea what it is even about. NaNoWriMo is a free event that anybody can join, which is basically just writing a 50,000 rough draft of a novel in 30 days in November. When you join on the NaNoWriMo website, there are word count goals, you can get writing buddies, it's a whole thing. It's a wonderful community and I absolutely love it. This will be my third year doing NaNoWriMo, so why do I keep coming back to NaNoWriMo and why do I think you should be doing NaNoWriMo? Well, my number one reason is that it's fun. It is so much fun. I love the writing community, I love the instant gratification of making my word count goals and having all NaNoWriMo community peoples on NaNoWriMo in the forums or on Twitter or wherever being like, yes, you made your word count goal. You're amazing. I love interacting with people from around the world, which you can do because they're all writing and it's amazing. Even though it can be a little bit stressful to be writing 50,000 words in a single month, I find it enjoyable to press forward and try to meet the deadlines and get all of my word count goals. It's, it's fun. It's like a stress-induced fun. But it doesn't have to be stressful because it's not official. It's just a fun thing. And even if you don't do the 50,000 words, it's still a fun experience. Number one, it's fun. It's just a lot of fun. It's enjoyable for a number of reasons. Number two, the NaNoWriMo writing community is super supportive and encouraging and they absolutely love you. The third reason I think everyone should be doing NaNoWriMo is because it will jumpstart your novel. Whether you've written several novels already or this is your first try in the literature world, doing NaNoWriMo will get you started on whatever project that you're working on. Even if you don't write the 50,000 words during November, you will write something and you will write more than you probably would if you weren't doing NaNoWriMo because during NaNoWriMo there are word count goals that motivate you, there are writing buddies that you can encourage you and help you to keep going even when you get a little tired of writing every single day for 30 days. The community and the encouragement and the goals and the motivation and the writing sprints and the advice that just abounds during NaNoWriMo, <laughs> all of that culminated will get you to start on your novel and get words flowing. So NaNoWriMo will definitely jumpstart whatever project you're doing, so you should do it. I don't remember what we're on here. The fourth reason uh, anyone should be doing NaNoWriMo is for the sense of achievement and the instant gratification. Writing a novel is a lot of hard work, and it can often take years for that hard work to pay off in terms of people actually reading it and saying, wow, this is a good book. When doing NaNoWriMo, people aren't necessarily reading what you're writing, but if you say, hey, I made my word count goal, there is an instant gratification and sense of accomplishment. People are saying, well done, you made your word count goal. Congratulations! And when you hit your word count goals, whether you make the full 50,000 at the end of the month or not, every word count goal you hit, it's just like a gold star that you get to put on your shoulder and be like, I did that. The fifth reason that everyone should be doing NaNoWriMo is that it will form writing habits. Whether or not you write every day already, or if you want to be writing every day, everyone has a different schedule. If you do NaNoWriMo and are forced to write every day for a month, even after November, if you choose to write three days a week, you will have the practice and the habit formed of sitting down and writing even when you don't necessarily want to, or if it's hard, or whatever. Doing NaNoWriMo will get you started on forming a writing habit that you can carry with you to finish writing your novel, or finish writing the next novel after that, or whatever. Also, just a side note, this is like the sixth reason, but I'm not numbering it because I just wanted to have five reasons. Anyway, the bonus reason you should be doing NaNoWriMo. Even if you don't participate, this will apply to you. During the NaNoWriMo season, both in October, during Preptober, and in the month of November when NaNoWriMo is happening, the advice from seasoned authors abounds. 
whether they're doing NaNoWriMo themselves or have done it in the past. During the NaNoWriMo season, there will be a million new videos on YouTube saying, here's how you outline, here's how you write a crime novel, here's how you create character profiles. The advice from people who know what they're doing because they've done it before successfully multiplies during the NaNoWriMo season because NaNoWriMo is amazing and it brings out the best of us. So there you go, there's a few reasons you should be doing NaNoWriMo, so I expect you all to sign up immediately. There will be a link in the description to the NaNoWriMo website, also to my website and my social media and all of that. And on that note, happy writing everybody! Ugh, the camera's too far away from my hand. Uh...